Alright everyone, welcome back for more sort of Convaloria content. In today's video, I'm gonna try my luck on Ada's banner. She is an amazing support and I want to push some more content in the game. I saved a lot of luck sites. I maybe have something around 80 summons in total if I count the luck site I have and the secret fate. So I'm gonna try my luck here. If I check the details, I am far away from the guarantee. I never summoned on that banner in the past. 2% chance to drop her and 50% chance if I drop a legendary hero to obtain her. And if I check here, I'm at the beginning of the PD as well, 100, so I'm not even guaranteed to obtain a legendary hero during that session. And maybe I'm gonna try, if I'm not lucky, to pull a bit more to buy a few extra summons. The goal is to get that hero to try her on my channel. So, she is a great support hero because of multiple things. First of all, if you check her preview, she has that instant skill, no energy at all, 4 tons of cooldown, but you are gonna throw that wine barrel on the target in front, a big range and AoE attack, reducing their speed by 150 and movement by 1 tile and deal some extra damage, just a few, but still, the effects applied on enemies is really game changer in both PvE and PvP. Imagine throwing that in a bridge in PvP, you are gonna take advantage, you are gonna attack before the opponent, and this is just amazing for that. But that taken apart, she is amazing for the support skills she has. Damage up 3, magical defense 2, and move 1. This is insane. For 3 turns on all your heroes on that range, this is so great. For 1 energy only, 4 turns of cooldowns, which means that you're gonna have only 1 turn to wait without the buffs on your heroes. This is an amazing skill for 1 energy, I love that. And she can dispel disruption on your heroes. And you have many heroes today that can apply a blood active skill, passive skill, reactions or dodge and with the basic attack. So this is an amazing skill to have today. That taken apart, she can summon a box on the ground and when you go on that box with one of your hero, you are gonna get the Highland bonus, which means that you can maximize your damage output and you have other stuff as well on that unit. She is a range unit, she can push you the target with the, her trait, so she is amazing. I really want to pull for her and I hope that I'm gonna be lucky enough to draw her directly. By the way, if you decided to go for her, on that banner let me know what did you got in the comment below i'm curious to know and let me know as well how many summons did you need to obtain her and everything in details in fact i want to know everything i'm curious to know so let me know in the comment below and now it's gonna be my time if i check my history for now i summoned already 200 times i got seven legendary characters 3.5% chance, this is pretty nice in my opinion, considering the fact that you have only normally 2% chance to drop a legendary, 3.5 is pretty cool in my opinion. So guys, without further ado, I think that it's finally time for me to try my luck on that banner, so I wish you the best luck and that time, it's my turn. So let's start the summon. Confirm that first 10 draws. On my previous summons, I drew the Justice and the Emperor card, and that time I'm gonna go with the Devil. So let's draw that and check what do I have. A Legendary directly at the beginning? Are you kidding me? This is insane! <laughs> okay, maybe I already have Eda on the first 10 draws. On the last 10 draws I made, I had Call. So this is completely crazy. So let's continue. And finger crossed, who knows, maybe I'm gonna have her directly at the beginning. 50% chance to draw her. Okay, this is the legendary. There we go! First 10 draws. Okay, the summon session is over, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is huge. Crazy luck one more time. Okay, I have lightning behind. Look at that, the first 10 draws, and I got Eda already. <laughs> oh man, oh man, I feel blessed. I feel so freaking blessed. So what should I do now? Should I try to get Nungal? She is a pretty good unit, and I really want to have a ranged unit with high damage. So maybe, you know what, I'm gonna pull on that banner. I already have uh, Garcia, I had her on my reroll session. So, normally if I get a hero, if I win, uh, do I have 75% chance? Yeah, 75% chance to drop one of these characters, but I already have Garcia, so I think that I'm guaranteed to obtain Nungal if I get one of these two. So let's just find out. Let's continue the summon session, otherwise the video is gonna be super short. And I'm here to entertain you, so... <laughs> okay, where, where is the devil? 
Where is the devil? I want to continue with that card. So let's pull that down. Okay, no single legendary or epic hero. So let's just skip that. Let's go again. I'm going to take the same card. There we go. Pull it down. Epic. No legendary. Okay. Fair enough. I think I have been already super lucky with my draw, so I don't need more than that. Papal God, a Kie God, and a Candlelight. The more shards on Candlelight, why not? I still need to upgrade her. So let's continue. And I hope that I can get another legendary and get Nungal. Same card again. Let's drop that down. Come on, a legendary. No legendary. Okay, it starts with Nightingale, so I can upgrade her. Pretty nice. Another one. The Enforcer. A third one. Flare, this is a new one. Pretty good. Another one directly behind the Night Raven. Pretty good for epic units, so I can upgrade them. So let's continue. The Devil, one more time. Come on, turn into a rainbow. Still no extra legendary. Nightingale. Another one. Blade, a new unit. That's a good one for the Tower of Conquest, so I'm happy to get him, finally. Vladarian Scoot, another one behind. Abyss again. I already have 5 stars on Abyss, though. The Flame Sorceress. And that's all. Okay, so let's continue using my Lux Sight. The same card again. Come on, turn into a rainbow. Okay, I was blessed at the beginning, but now apparently I can't get another legendary. Another Epic, the Knight Raven again. Another one. Nightingale. I think that now she's gonna be 5 stars. Only two epic characters. Fair enough. Okay, so let's continue that. Only 20 summons remaining. Let's draw the same card. Legendary. Come on. Be Nungal. Give me Nungal. And I'm gonna be really happy. Okay. Lash. Okay, a new unit. She is a great unit, so I'm really happy to have her. And this is the legendary. Is it Nungal? And that's an extra copy of Garcia. So apparently you are not guaranteed to obtain the one you don't have on that banner. Ah, that's really, really sad. I wish I could have Nungal instead of Garcia. Because I'm not using her today. Okay, so let's draw some more. And that's going to be the last of 10 rows. Same card again. No legendary at all. Might. Another one and that's going to be all. Tempest. And that was my last summon. If I go on the details, it reset the guarantee because I got a hero in the banner. Oh man. So if I go again on the same banner, if I draw another hero from these two, I'm not even guaranteed to get Nungal, right? Okay, so now if I check my history, let's check what I have. Yeah, look at that. 3.21% chance. So it lowered, but it was... Yeah, look at that. If I go back here, I got Guzman. Then call on the next 10 draws, and on the next 10 ones, I got Eda right after. So that was pretty nice, right? And then, yeah, I was out of luck, and I got Garcia at the end. This is pretty sad. And right before, I got the two Glorias. Two Glorias, a few summons later, Guzman, call Eda, and then really bad luck, and I got Garcia at the end. Okay guys, that was all for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like button if it's the case. Have a nice day guys and see you on the next video. Bye bye.